Honours even at Leicester as Derbyshire goes second in Division 2. After no play on the first two days at Grace Road, the teams made it out for the first time on day three, Leicestershire batting well to collect 267 runs with five wickets still in hand. Dexter and Eckersley return to the crease on day four, looking to push the score along. The pair started strongly, both batsmen regularly picking up boundaries, soon taking their side past 300. Olivier did eventually manage to find the breakthrough, removing Dexter for 47. The wicket, however, didn't stop the flow of runs, and new batsman Rain played well as Eckersley reached his half-century. Rain continued to play positively, but Eckersley failed to push on, dismissed by Rampel for 54. More boundaries came for Rain as he edged towards his half-century, but his wicket soon fell, a miscommunication between the batsmen resulting in a run-out, just two wickets remaining now for the home side. Klein tried to swing momentum back his team's way. He found a couple more boundaries, but just the next over saw his new partner Griffiths dismissed LBW out for a duck. And the innings then came to a close. Aaron pinned LBW by Viljan, the home side finishing on 381 all out, leaving a considerable target for Derbyshire. It was a strong batting display. Eckersley, Ackerman and Horton all reaching half-centuries, with plenty of other players also contributing well to the scoreboard. But as the teams came out in the afternoon, opening batsman Reese was pinned LBW by rain, sent packing for a disappointing duck. And it was a quick second in the next over, Madsen not managing to add a run before he was also out LBW, this time courtesy of Aaron. Slater and Hughes were now in bat and the pair somewhat steadied things for Derbyshire. They topped up the run rate, hitting some nice shots to the boundary. Slater, though, was next to go, Rain picking up his second wicket when he removed the batsman for 27. Hughes continued to push on with his new partner, Godelman, but the new man didn't last too long. He fell victim to Griffiths, departing for seven. At the break, Derbyshire were 84 for four, trailing by 297 runs, with the match heading for a draw both sides, looking to get some bonus points for their teams in the final session. Hughes was the next to go, falling just five runs short of his 50, bowled by Dexter. Critchley was the new man in. He contributed positively, finding the boundary on various occasions. Bill John was next in to bat and he wasted no time picking up boundaries. But his aggressive play left him vulnerable and Ackerman took advantage. Rain with the catch. Despite a grinding effort from Wilson, the next wicket fell three overs later. Davis, the man sent on his way, caught and bowled by Ackerman for six. No further wickets fell in the next two overs, so Godelman decided to bring the match to a close. Derbyshire 251 for 8 in reply to Leicestershire's 381 all out. Horton, Ackerman and Eckersley, the leaders with the bat for the hosts. Wilson, the top scorer for the visitors, with 64 not out. Wickets shared amongst both sets of bowlers. In the end, 11 points going to Leicestershire, 10 to Derbyshire. And Derbyshire move up to second in the table as a consequence. <laughs>